I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. You want to jeopardize your whole fucking degree? You want to jeopardize your career, everything you've built? Why? So you can be on TikTok for free. We are better than you, period. Today's topic. Guaranteed to you. Next year, this time, we're gonna lap you motherfuckers. Few moments later. The channel has been kicked off the YouTube Partner Program. Saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. Yeah, while we're still celebrating, Fresh and Fit getting fucked over. Uh, are we celebrating? Low key. I'm celebrating. I'm just doing a little two step in my room. That's a little two step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drew a little Fresh and Fit sticker on the floor and I'd be dancing on it. <laughs> just like this. Ooh, look at us, some high value men losing their shit. Here's why one, I don't feel bad for Fresh and Fit. No. And two, why I think they deserve even worse. Sure. Absolutely. Everyone's like, oh, how dare you guys celebrate somebody being deplatformed, this and that. No, I celebrate people having consequences for their actions. That's what I celebrate. And I'm certainly not going to feel bad for somebody who tried to get a bunch of channels removed from the platform with their own copyright strikes. If someone tried Did to we all have short-term memory? Or these guys knowingly hired a lawyer mm -hmm. to just put out all of these strikes on a bunch of different platforms, mm -hmm. knowing they were false. Knowing they were false. They didn't care. They wanted these channels deleted. Yep. Right? And what did they say at the time? Everybody that was talking about What did about they them. say at the time? What did they say about the time? The time? They said, actions have consequences. You want to talk shit, get hit. The haters tried to kill us. Over 30 plus YouTube channels made videos like slandering our name, whatever it is. Now they're mad that they're get, there's consequences of actions, bro. Y'all are not going to be able to run around and drag our name in the mud with, you know, falsely without some kind of recourse, bro. Like, that's just not the way the world works. What we're going to do is we're going to go behind the scenes, get the legal people to do it for us, and then they're going to hit you guys where it really hurts your pockets, okay? You make a hit piece on us, we're going to hit you back illegally. Can you ask why these clowns tried to take down Abba and Preach with fake DMCA strikes? What? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, we have a lot of people that talk about us on the internet. And some of it is slander, some of it is defamation, and using our content in their videos. And we're like, okay, cool. We've waited out for a while for you to stop. You're still doing it. So, oh, you know what? Cool. Now we're going to take legal action against you because obviously you're attacking our, our character and our integrity. So at that point, hey, it's all fair game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Those are their words, right? They never apologized for any of that stuff. They never took it. Now they want to cry about free speech. There is a matrix, man. Like, I mean, I mean, we've talked about this with Andrew at length. Like, people don't want you guys to get this message. I think at some point there was free speech where it was like, okay, you know what? Yeah. Say what you got to say. We won't crucify you. But nowadays, free speech is kind of like, is it even a thing? Excuse me? I didn't get their channel taken down. I'm just watching as karma comes back to bite you in the ass. You don't. You that don't was your that. actions that you never took accountability yeah. for. And all of a sudden, now you want to be some pariah for free speech. Listen, your whole channel right, could right. go up in flames. Your building could go down. I don't give a fuck what happens to you. That's kind of like those ladies who go around like, hit me, hit me, and you get smacked in the face. I don't care. Go ahead. If fuck around and found out was two morons, it'd be them. That's it. That's really that. It's funny. It's just funny how the people that have been crying about accountability the most when it hits you back. Man, they're saving the world. Yeah, they're saving probably some of y'all, and they help some of y'all, but they're also doing some bad. They want to say it's about saving men, right? Yeah. The, the platform's about saving, about saving men. Saving what does having that little coke head of yours come on just to ramble about flat earth and other dumb shit have to do with saving men? What does Nick Fuentes coming on talking about Jews saying the N-word a bunch of times and, you know, chopping it up with a white supremacist have to do with saving men? Everybody's always talking about, like, education and stuff, and they say, well, the reason that the blacks and Hispanics aren't performing so well is because the schools aren't funded, the schools aren't good. There's not one reason, I don't think. I think there is. And the reason is that when you look at IQ tests, blacks score one one full standard deviation lower than whites and I choose an eight. Do you think that it is like, hey, are you taking talking okay. about like a nature versus nurture argument here? Yeah, I'm saying it's genetic. So you believe that black oh, people are inherently okay. dumber? I'm saying right. on average. You should have stayed in your lane. And because you didn't stay in your lane and you wanted to walk together with people who are on no fly list and banned from every other planet, okay? 
you ended up taking a big L. Associate whoever you want, but don't be mad if other people don't want to associate with you afterwards, i.e. YouTube doesn't want anything to do with you. They banned that guy for a reason, and you want to bring him on and cozy him up having saying the N-word to a bunch of black women? That's your choice. You're free to do whatever you want. Free speech. Don't mean that people got to associate with you. Don't mean that people got to pay you to do that dumb shit. What brand, okay? You know, forget brand. You got a job, okay? You work at an office. Do you honestly think you could keep your job if after hours you got videos of you publicly, proudly walking around doing the salute, right? With known white supremacists. And then you wanna come into work, Pikachu face, you're fired. And you want me to feel bad. Come on, cuz. I could understand that some off work behavior shouldn't affect your job, okay? I could understand to a degree. Doing the salute with white supremacists, talking about how black people are inferior? Dumb IQ, whatever it is. Hey, and preach, I guarantee your your wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> yo, we you gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should we should fly her you up, bro. Weirdo. Hey, yo, we should fly her up. There's a lot of people that are talking about. Oh yeah, you know what? They've been doing good. You know, there's a there's food that has a lot of protein. Like let's take chicken breast. Uh huh. And it's good for your health. Gotcha. All right, and uh, and you should have that. And you know, it's it's great if you want to have nutrients and if you're training and everything and stuff. But if I take a whole dookie in it, it's chicken breast and dookie. Okay. There's a lot of bad. There's some good in there. There's some. If you if you know if you move around the the dookie, mm -hmm. uh, there's some chicken breast somewhere. Still doo doo. I'm not eating that. So you, if I serve you a plate of Parmesan dookie chicken breast and claiming, yo, there's some chicken breast in there, you're not going to eat it. It's the same thing. That's their channel. There's some good in there. There's a whole lot of dookie. I don't, even understand. I don't even understand why some of y'all are like, yeah, but they did good in this. You don't even see the bad. You're able, you want to, you want to toss the bad out. The bad was there. The salute. Hey man, like I said, you played yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want you were you were puffing your chest. Congratulations. You were puffing your chest loud and proud. Talk about I'm on Rumble. I'll do whatever I want. YouTube said word. Okay, well you can go be on Rumble full time, and now you want to cry. Uh, saving children that was great. Uh, but saving y'all was get the fuck out of here. Take all your shit, pack your bags, grab your little plaque. Congratulations on hitting a million. Good luck on hitting two. Okay. All you men crying in the comment section, y'all would not show even one ounce of grace to a woman being accused of doing half the shit that this man did. You, you would have dunked on her being like, Western women refuse to take fucking accountability. Actions have consequences. Welcome to a man's world. And y'all defended him to high water. It just turns out that all these red pill f losers, right? Are gonna simp just as hard for men if they idolize them. Y'all notice we didn't cover them for a little while? Why? Why do you think I didn't cover these people for a long time? Not to be associated. Let them go make their mistakes. You know, the idea that all mm. press is good press is a lie. Yo, that's I'm gonna even tell you guys, all these like beefs and dramas, now that we're like around one to two million subscribers, it's not something that you necessarily wanna be in all the time. Why? Because YouTube just doesn't like that shit. And honestly, it's not that important to my platform in order to get you guys what y'all need. So why would I jeopardize everything I'm working on, the money for my family, the money for my people, for my initiatives, for my community? Why would I, why would I jeopardize that so I could argue with two reasons? And this is what I'm saying. I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. And if they're not dumb, okay, they're so ego driven, right, that they think they're untouchable. And I'm like, nigga. You're on somebody else's platform. You don't have any equity in this thing. You have no rights in this thing. They can literally delete you anytime they want. What do you have to base your ego off of? That's why I be telling folks, this shit can get deleted at any point. If it does, I'm just walking. I have no power when it comes to this platform. Now, sure, there's probably ways I can retain it through websites and off-platform things and little things. Even going to Rumble, you have no equity in the bitch. So people acting like they're a boss. That's why I look at creators sometimes and I laugh. You're not untouchable. It just takes one wrong video and everything can get taken away. So when you walking around big headed, puffing out your chest, looking at the rules and laughing and spitting in the face to everything like that, right? I'm looking at you like, okay, we'll see how long you last. And they never last. Now, the deal isn't even that bad because I'm not the boss, right? YouTube has a payment system in place. They have advertisers that they work with. They funnel me a check every month. Okay. Hey, I'm an employee. 
I might be a little bit more self-employed than a lot of other employees, but I'm an employee. I don't even pretend like it's not my place. But if you want to get those easy checks, because the checks from YouTube are pretty easy, there are certain rules you got to follow. You don't want to follow them, that's fine. YouTube gets to cut you off. You don't get to cry afterwards. Mm -mm. So that's why I say creators are some of the dumbest, dumbest people. Okay. They really don't understand what kind of relationship they have with their employer. They don't have understanding what kind of relationship they have with the platform. And yet they want to act big chested and act like they're invincible because they're getting cut big checks. You're not getting cut big checks because you're really smart. You're getting cut big checks because you have a lot of following. That's the only reason. Those two things are not the same. They are not the same. The business acumen of some of these people is fucking zero. What businessman wants to throw away his own platform so he could go and raise his hand with white supremacy? Business. And this is not even a fresh, this is just a money thing. Some of you guys are going to throw away your whole lives because your ego. You want to throw your careers away because your ego. You work as a lawyer, but you want to be out here having videos of yourself saying the most foul things and publishing on TikTok. Why? Because your ego, you need to be heard saying dumb shit. You want to jeopardize your whole fucking degree. You want to jeopardize your career, everything you've built. Why? So you can be on TikTok for free. It's like that, that, that doctor. Not even for free. You're going to cost yourself 80 to 90 to 100 plus K a year. That doctor. That doctor that, got, that, that lost her whole life. The doctor lost her whole life. Her whole life license. Like, do you understand that she cannot practice no more? Because she wanted to be on TikTok. She can't, she can't practice. She got to find another job. Mm -hmm. She got to close down her clinic, everything. Yeah. Not only that you're costing the job of your employee, mm -hmm. but you're done. Yeah. For life. Yeah. Find yourself something else to do. <sighs> Yo. If you want to be out here speaking to men, that's fine. Be smart about how you do it. That's all I got to say. Anything else? Nope. All right. Actions have consequences. Ain't that one of your favorite lines? Ain't that what you like to tell these women when you bring them on their platform and you dunk it on their head? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! We love to see that male vulnerability. Go on, cry for them. Let's go. Hey man, should have been smarter.